Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I did say I was going to be playing some other games today, but I thought I just wanted to do a quick, I don't know, 40-minute stream on the other part of any Thargoid com conflict in a system, which is the rescue missions. Now, great stuff, hey? Rescue missions are usually pretty good. What do I mean by pretty good? I've got my rescue ship, and your rescue ship can basically be anything. But here, I've got my anaconda, the good old rescue badger. So, this particular ship, right here, right, um, it's got some cargo space, and it's also got a collector limpet, it's got loads of heat sinks, and it's got some passenger space as well. Let's take a look at that. So we're going to outfit him. It's got a few token armaments, nothing too heavy, right? You know, just to keep the wolves from the door. Um, utility mounts, like I say, I've got some shield boosters. And I've got a load of heat sink launchers. And all that is going to become, um, you know, will be, will be made apparent very shortly. So in the optional uh, internal modules. I got my economy passenger cabins. Here we go. We've got them all down here, right? Got my collector limpet controller, bit of shields, right? Um, a bit of hell reinforcement as well. Got a cargo rack, got a cargo rack. And uh, I got some of these, um, again, passenger economy class passenger modules. So what am I going to be doing? Well, in this system, right? This particular system, which is so song, um, you will see that I am here at the rescue ship and that station there is burning. It's on fire, right? That's what it is. It's burning and it's on fire. The missions you get at this rescue ship are all around transportation. Now, salvage so many units of escape pods from this and you can get some really sexy materials. Mechanical scrap, great for doing your chain guns. Um, anomalous bulk scan data, quite hard to come by. Exceptional scrambled emission data. You can really stock up on some of the additional uh, materials and data that you need. Uh, quite hard to come by. Anyway, I've selected a load of these and I've got an absolute ton of missions here. All right. Uh, I've also got some cargo space. I've got a few limpets knocking about, right? So um, what we're going to do is we're going to get in, launch from this ship, do a rescue mission, and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So my anaconda's all nice and shiny. Got my lights on. Got my heat sinks ready to disperse loads of heat. And it's only a short jump between the rescue ship and the station. In fact, as soon as you jump, and you'll see this now, as soon as you jump, we'll just select the station. There it is. As soon as we clear the mass lock of the, um, the rescue ship, which is there, we're going to be able to jump, right? Here we go. Jump. It charges. We've seen this before. Three, two, one. Here we go. Right. And it, immediately we can jump back out. There it is. So here's the station. You can tell it's had a bit of mischief done to it. Look at all this. Yes. Big Thargoid low res renders on it like that come on frontier S sort your graphics out some are very good some are absolutely atrocious it's got its lights on over there for some reason um and again you know the main structure as well you can see it's on fire massive rents in the structure of the station right okay then we are going to request to dock here we go Pad 24, they say. We're going to open our cargo scoop. Now, don't forget, I've got heat sinks and I've got that class 5 limpet controller. 
right there, okay? So, we're going in. Got our lights on. Got our cargo scoop down. That's going to limit our speed. Now, as you look through here, you can see that's just like the gates of hell in there. It's all red. It's on fire. There's smoke. There's all bits of stuff knocking about. And we've been given pad 24, right? Which is, which is right there. So as soon as we're in through the entrance and egress stage, you can see our temperature starting to climb up, right? We are going to start launching our collector limpets. We're going to pop a heat sink, right? There go our little limpets, our flying monkeys, picking up all those materials, popping them in our cargo bay, right? There's all the materials over there, look. You know, they're just rotating around. You even got, see, someone, one's picked up an escape pod there. Um, it's all other stuff. There's all engineering materials. And we can have a decent look about what's going on here. Right? Right here. So we've got chemical storage units as a material. Good stuff. Processors, mechanical scrap. Um, storage units, heat dispersion plates, shield emitters, heat conduction wiring, and of course my limpets. Uh, here are my ejected heat sinks. Don't need those, do we? We don't have anything to do with that, right? Uh, and then you've got canisters, then personal effects. Now they're going to start taking up space inside your cargo holds. That's when you need a bit of extra space, extra bit of cargo hold space there as well. Encrypted correspondence and all the rest of it. All the stuff that those missions right, that we took on the rescue ship, wanted us to go and pick up. So let's keep an eye on our inventory, which is over here. Still got a bit to go. That's why I've got loads and loads and loads of heat sinks ready. Keep us nice and cool. Now it's very important not to go dropping any heat sinks, right, inside this station, or you'll get anonymous access, and then you really are gonna be stuck. So here you go, look, we 97%. Pop another heat sink. That's gonna drop our temperature. Here come more and more items. It does take a little bit of a while. It does take a little while, really, you know? Um, of course, we've got all these other sort of like um, personal effects as well. If you wanted to select certain items you could you've got your ignore list but we are picking up an awful lot of material here and that's good stuff right bad sure design oh you gotta have heat sinks dude you gotta have heat sinks right you gotta have heat sinks um the bigger ship the better bit of cargo space right and you can see all our stuff is going to be going in there Right in here, hopefully. We're just shooting off some more collector limpets. See, we are we are making money on the missions, right? We're getting materials, right? Yeah, I, I usually carry about six or seven limpets, right? Um, and you can have multiple limpet controllers if that's what you just want to be doing. But I'm hitting it both at the moment. I'm going to do a bit of passenger missions now, right? Because you know, we've got our our pad is right there. Just got to keep an eye on that um, on your temperature and on how many limpets you've got as well. And keep an eye on what you've got, look, right, in here. But we've got plenty of time, it's okay. We've got a couple of minutes before they're gonna start shooting at us or giving us some, some, some grief because we haven't landed. And again, if we go forward, 
can see there's all the other materials towards the back of the station. That's right. Uh, and I went for the three A, so we've got um, the five A, which has got three, I think. Um, but hey, there you go. Flying monkeys, good old limpet controllers. Things are on fire. Big bits of station floating about. And I reckon I'm nearly full now. Nearly full. Pop another heat sink. So something's going to come back. Something's going to be happy. Something's going to be sad. Right, so two of my two of my um, limpet controllers unable to drop their cargo. I've got no space. Right? Anyway, not to worry. Landing gear. Let's get this big old beast on the deck, shall we? Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Here we go. Yeah, good old collector limpets. It's okay if they expire. I've still got three. And we're down. We're down. We're down. All those things are unavailable. All we've got really is starport services, right? Bad short designs. Cheers, dude. 07, Commander. And you're right, Simon. It's a great change of pace, isn't it? You've got all this, like, going on because the station's getting a bit of a kick in. You can see all these things are on fire, right? Mission board. Now, this is where you show, in my opinion, the fiber of your fabric, right? What is it all? What, what's important to you? Well, hmm, is it human life? Rescuing those civilians from the burning station who can't wait to get out. And that's a bit of a thing with this as well, because I'll show you. I've got economy class um, cabins here. Yet there are some, or I add some later on, who would only get into a luxury cabin. Well, you're going to turn around and your backside's going to be on fire, isn't it? Right? Now, you can either go for the money and you can search via credits. And you can see some 200,000 credits. You know, you can make a bit of money for a starting off commander and need a bit of scratch. Or you can do what I do and go for the materials and get the materials in first. Again, mechanical scrap, pick a cabin. Now there's 19 of them, right? You can say auto fill. All right. Perhaps not a good use of cabins, but there you go. Auto fill and accept that mission. Right, brilliant. Bad Sean Gaming. Cheers, dude. Thanks for that follow. Grid resistors. Again, another good one. Pick a cabin. Let's do an autofill. There you are. Full and full there. Accept that mission. I have no capacity for further mission contracts. Complete your act. Oh, God. Do you know what this is? This is because I have got too many collection material missions. It's my fault. Totally my fault. Right. Um, but there's a different way of doing this. So, what I'm going to do is fly out. Got some anyway. Everyone else is going to have to wait. Come back, rinse and repeat, do it again, right? Incidentally, it's quite good that, you know, we've got outfit in here, right? And you can, you can go like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, uh, what am I going to have here? Replace, replace a module. Uh, and, you know, uh, on what stage, on what planet is, is, is this better for us? Um, anyway. I'm, I'm digressing here. I'm digressing. Right, what are we going to do? We're going to launch, right? We're going to get out. But we're not going to leave just yet because we've got three more tens to use up because I'm going to use up three more limpets. Right? Three more limpets. I went crazy on, on getting the salvage missions. Absolutely crazy. Right, let's get the cargo scoop up and go... Cargo B4, we'll just launch all our limpets, we don't care. Pop the heat sink. Let's see what else we get. 
Might as well use those three tens up anyway, because we'll be dropping out, dropping back, coming back anyway. Now, the thing about this, if you do the missions, is when you get back to the ship, there may be missions that you haven't got enough of a certain item to go and complete. Right? And you're going to be in your cargo hold. So you are going to have to rinse them, get rid of them. Right? Right, we're off, Ski. There you go, we is out. And they've made a right old thaggy mess of that, haven't they? Let's face it. Hey, Jules, how is it going? This is me doing a quick Elite Dangerous stream because I had no idea what I was going to do for a video right today. And I like releasing something every Monday. And we'll do a bit of Satisfactory later on um, once I've had a bit of tea and all that. Oh, yes. I do like an anaconda. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to pop back. Rescue ship. It's not too heavily engineered, this. Here we go. Drop out straight away. There it is. The Dzahanbikov. I think it's Dzahanbikov, whatever it is. Anyway, this is the rescue ship. In all its rescue ship glory. Right? Toby Keith. 07, Commander. Right? Let's say we want a dock. Request that dock in. There's my pad, number one. Get the gear down. Let's turn the engines off. Let's try to overshoot these things. Here we go. Oh yes, well, Federal Corvette. I do like that ship. I mean, I've I've built combat ships out of the big four, you know, Type Tens, my AFK build, and you know the Corvettes, the Cutter. And the Anaconda. Um, we are lacking another ship, though. Right, so I'm down. I've arrived. Bit of refuel, bit of repair, bit of restock. Starport services. Right. Mission board. Completed missions. 19, it says. Right, so. But I won't be turning in 19 missions. This just means. Watch. As I hand them in, right, the number of missions that I'll be handing in will reduce. Right, legacy firmware. Great stuff, that. Quite hard to come by as well. This is by far the easiest way to start stocking up on stuff. Now, if you wanted to go for the many, that's fine, right? Um, me, it's all about materials. Perhaps, materi perhaps a little bit of reputation. If you're new to a system, and, and you can see that 19 dropped quite considerably then, back down to 4. Um, with resistors. Salvage. They were looking to leave, and they're going to give me scrap. Great. Brilliant. So I should now have some space. Um... pick up more passengers so there was my group transportation here right all density all sorted I couldn't pick anybody up you can always check as well in your inventory if you've got anybody in you and you can see how many people I can pick up I'm not going to pick up any more missions what I'm going to do advanced maintenance right 
A fleet carrier? Oh, yes. But you're going to have a, a source of income for this. Eight limpets will be enough for me. Right? Still got quite a few missions here. Right? Nice and simple. We're launching again. We'll select our... Our endangered damage station. Here we go. Let's leave that party right there. Right, we're ready. Time to jump. Ready to disengage. Here we are again. Where's the station? There it is. Request that docking. It's been granted. Cargo scoop open. And we should be able to pick up some passengers this time. Because I wasn't so overzealous with the with the other missions. Here we go, we're going in. Pad 40 this time. Woo! Proceed with caution. I'll get in there somehow. Let's get the collector limpets on the go. We need pad 40. Just over there. So we're about where we, where we need to be. Here it is, and here they are. Don't really know what that is. I've got a, I've got a, I've got a little bit of lens flare there. A little bit of J.J. Abrahams going on. Look, what could it be? Could it be an Omega Particle, or whatever that was, if you watch a bit of Star Trek? I don't know, what is it? That is a heat sink, by the look of it. It's got a bit of a glow on. Talking of heat sinks, let's launch another one. How are we doing on cargo space? Oh, it's filling up nicely. And really, you can then go back, when you go back to the rescue ship, what you can do then, you can say, hmm, um, I've got 13 personal effects documents. I'll pick some missions for that. And you'll be able to hand them in. But as you can see, you know, I'm filling up pretty quickly. Commander Duck Duck One just arrived at work. So I thought, well, hello. I'm not in work today. Bank holiday in the UK. How cool is that? So we thought we'd have a bit of a go on this. Again, we've got loads of stuff here. Look at all that. Damage escape pods, black boxes. Yeah, we're getting all frosty now. And it's a, it's a sweet spot, like we were saying at the beginning of the stream, about doing this sort of stuff. And that sweet spot is about 
between six and seven limpets to carry when doing that compared to your cargo space. I mean, you can just sit in here all day, right? Um, with no passenger um, cabins and effectively just pick up all the materials. That is a bit harsh, even for me. No, even for me, that is a bit harsh. So, all good stuff. We are picking up the materials, we're picking up the other items. Dropping heat sinks like they're smarties. <laughs> I know, this is the thing, isn't it? But always good for it. These materials here that we're, that we're seeing, all good for engineering, right? And the materials you'll get for completing the missions, again, Great for engineering. Right, so they're all full. Let's close that. Let's get down. Let's get on the deck. Now it's pad 40 we want, which is directly below us. There it is. Let's go in. Nice and... Um, nice and quiet-like. There you go. We're down. Starport services, we're now gonna lower into the station, right? But now, because I got a bit of space, that's great. I can pick up I can pick up some some peoples from the passenger lounge. Group transportation, right? I do like this screen they've put on you now, right? It's much better than the old screen. Um, right, so, again, either go for the many or go for materials. I like materials. Legacy firmware, and why not? Pick a cabin, autofill that cabin, accept that mission. Call me mercenary, but what am I going to get out of it? I don't mind taking anybody, right? Exceptional scrambled emission data. Atypical wake echoes. Ooh. Ayana, how are you doing? Happy Monday. So we're making money, we're picking up materials. Um... You know, it's a win-win. Now, you haven't got to pick up these transport missions from the carrier. You can just rock in there, pick up your stuff, uh, and concentrate on picking up refugees. And that's fine, right? That's fine. Um, there are so many different ways of doing this. There you are. I am... Running out of cabins. There you go. We're full. But are we? Because we've still got five limpets. All right, nothing else we can do here. So, so we're okay with that. We're going to exit that. We're going to launch. I mean, look at all this. Warning, warning, there's all screens on the side saying, you know, warning, warning, you know, all that sort of stuff. And then you go into the gates of hell up here where it's like a million degrees. So, cargo scoops down, drop a heat sink, says, oh, your cargo bay's full. What are you doing, you silly person? Let me say, ah, ah, ah. We've got collector limpets here. Still a few materials we can pick up. Exactly, Simon. And it's really good for getting, you know, um, your faction reputation.
So we're making our way nice and slowly. One more turn to get. Here he comes. And we're oot. We're oot. Right. Okay. So next up then. We're going to go back to the rescue ship. And incidentally on the rescue ship. Also does Thargoid missions. So if you can't find decent missions at the station. You can find then. Thargoid interceptor missions. Like I was looking for this morning. Right there. Okay, we're going to drop out again. There we go. There is the station. Station. The rescue ship. Can I dock, please? Yes, you can, they say. Right, okay then. Klaxin, thanks for the follow, mate. Right, here we go then. Oh, one, that is our pad. Let's get the landing gear down. We're going in, yet again. Here we go. I'm gonna crash. Oh, that's embarrassing. Well, not really, <laughs> but you know what I mean. You get so used to flying the smaller ships, you get into a bigger ship, you think, oh my God, what am I doing? And we're down. Okay, dead easy, right? Dead easy. So, into the mission board, passenger lounge, right? Again, you can't do anything here. You've got completed missions to do. Well, let's start stocking up, shall we? Dropping these passengers off. Legacy firmware. I am Captain Legacy Firmware at the moment. Um, that's what we got here. Refugees, getting the Fujis out. Getting those materials. I mean, it is a limited sort of like type of materials. You get your grid resistors. You get your specialized legacy firmware. You get your atypical disrupted echoes or whatever they are. Um, you know, but like, if you're looking for that sort of stuff, this is the way to do it. And it's easy. Oh, it's not. I'll rephrase that. You do need to have a ship that will support this. But you can just rock in and forget about the passengers and just pick up all the materials and go. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. So we've got our completed missions over here. Again, escape pods, mechanical scrap stuff reputations increasing all the time you know and again if you were looking for faction reputation it's a really good way of getting your faction reputation up if you want some of those bigger ships There you go. Well, I've used all those. But what have I got in the cargo hold? Well, I've still got personal effects, occupied escape pods, encrypted correspondence, and black boxes. So, amongst other things. Wreckage components. So let's have a look and see what we've got for personal effects 
on the missions. See if I can clear them out of the way. Into transportation. Salvage three personal effects. Great, so there's one. Four personal effects. Great. Right, so we'll do that then. Accept that mission. Completed. We'll go for the rep there. Now, I think I've still got three left of those personal effects. Yep. Yeah. Let's go for a mission for that then. Personal effect. Behold, there it is, right there. I'm going to get some echoes for that. So it's worthwhile doing a little bit of this maintenance, right? That is exactly, uh, Kalam, it is. It is very irritating. You'd like to see exactly where you are. Um, what else have I got going on in the old cargo bay? We've got encrypted correspondence for... Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Um, um, Occupy, scrape. There you are. Four units of encrypted correspondence. Well, I'm your man for that. Thanks very much. We'll have some rep. What else we got here? Black box three. There you go. Got anything for a black box here? Occupy escape pods. Black box four. We can do that. We can't do that. Never mind. Uh, but what we can do as well is go pick up loads of stuff and then come back and see what fits. Right? It's great. Um, as opposed to using up all the missions that we could be using to fill our cargo, uh, our passenger hold in the next when we go back to the station. Um, so what, what have we got here? We've got three black boxes, two wreckage components, and one damaged escape pod. We can also sell these as well, mind. If you go to contacts and you go to search and rescue, right? I could sell these black boxes. I could sell the wreckage components. Click on offload. Click next. Away you go. It's done. You've got a bit of scratch for it. What I found on the PC, right? Occupied escape pod, offload. I can't press it. I can't click that. I can't do anything to do it. And it's a bug. What you've got to do is you've got to cancel. You've got to come out. Then go back in. Select that, offload. And then, mystically, the arrow works. How cool is that? Right? Bugs are plenty. Still loads of things that have to be fixed here. Right? Anyway, so we're going to get some... Limpets. Purchase limpets. Yeah, we'll go for... Yeah, we'll go for six. Why not? Right? Um, everyone's got off. Time to get ourselves back over. I mean, if you look at the materials that I've got, there's all the encoded materials. So you can see I'm, I'm, I'm building up all the stuff like a typical disrupted wake echoes that I've been picking up as well. So it's worthwhile doing to get all these, all this data and other stuff sort of like maxed out. Um, again, with all this, these are the materials here. Chemical manipulators, chemical processes. Well, there's loads of those in there. Loads of them. You're only actually limited by, you know, by you know, what you can actually pick up. So let's get over there and do it all again. Launch. Pers <laughs> Five personal effects, four black boxes, three hyperdictions, two SLFs, and a partridge in a pear tree. Right, where are we? Okay, let's go. Back to the station.
But you're right, it does, doesn't it? I mean, the rank I've got here, I mean, uh, oh, the status. You know, admirals, kings, friendlies, you know, it, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? Um, and what you get for it? A bigger ship. What about a base? What about a cohort that will drop into it, combat zones with you, help you out? Your royal guard. I've been saying this for years. Nobody listens. Nobody listens. Why weave shields? Um, bleh. why weave shields? Yeah, they're pretty good. Why weave? Uh, faster recharge on those. If that's your thing. Right, we got a pad. Pad number 10 this time. So same sort of thing again. Bitsy, and a perfectly perfect hello to you too. We were saying yesterday how, you know, you've got your tagline, perfectly perfectness. Simon and I have got a new one. It's ridiculously ridiculousness. Or oh, cluelessly clueless. <laughs> right, we're going in. <laughs> it's a cluelessly clueless hello to you too. <laughs> Right, okay, we're going in. Let's get the cargo scoop down. Let's get some... Let's get some uh, collector limpets out, doing their thing. We'll sort of meander our way over to pad 10. Drop that heat sink. There we are. And we're done. And just wait for the money. <laughs> Ridiculous ridiculousness. Oh, we are. We do get some stupid stuff on this game. Yes, folks. There we are. Look. We're getting into it. Heatsink deploy. What are we picking up? There's scrap. There's equipment. There's heat dispersion plates. All these things that we need. You know? Occupied escape pods. Let me have them. Simon, you've got to understand... That I operate from the process, everything is my fault. Right? And if if you just accept the fact that everything is your fault, your fault, right? That's fine. You're never surprised. <laughs> oh, look at this, we're getting escape pods now. Look, we're clearing those missions. More materials for me. How are we doing on the inventory? Ah, oh, 16 units to go, yeah. Pop another heat sink. Oh, my ship is absolutely fantastic compared to what's going on there. At least it's cooler. I mean, you know, we'll land there eventually. Once we've cleared this lot out. So those glowing things there are heat sinks. I've ascertained that the last time. Who's the man? <laughs> Steve? That's very funny. <laughs> Okay, again, we're dropping. 
dropping another heat sink, getting it all in there. And you know, this is something something simple. Galnet says, oh, Thargoids are in the system. Thargoids. Everyone goes, oh, let's get my AX ship out. Let's get my Guardian stuff. This, do you know what? It's nice. It's easy. Like we were saying, different change of pace, more sedate. Get some engineer, uh, some engineering materials. Get farmed up on those. Make a bit of scratch as well. Raise your rank if you're looking for rank as well. The fighter bay isn't rare at all. No. <laughs> right, what's going on here? Are we are we kind of done? I mean we've got a lot Oh no we're not. Taking damage, there you go. The collector has malfunctioned. Something is broken. Right, and now, because I've, I've dropped things, right, I've got to leave. So I've got anonymous access because the cargo scoop freaked out. So I've got to go out and clear my name before I can come and pick up any people. You think they'd be a little bit more, I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? They'd be a little bit more... ...loose with the rules. I know. Well, I didn't spew it all. Still got some. Right? I've still got limpets. I can just go back in get some more. Make it worth my while. <laughs> this is the new one now. It's Lazy Simon, him of the ready break. Oh, we have a laugh. I was kind of hoping that with this Thargoid incursion, perhaps we would have seen, you know, some sort of like Thargoid presence. Not ground-based Thargoids per se, right? But, I don't know, perhaps some of the Thargoid ships attacking the settlements. You know? That would have been good. <laughs> right, what are we doing here? We're still picking up stuff. You've got a cargo scoop open. I should concentrate more on the temperature and not on visuals, really. We've still got more items to pick up. Got another 14 if we can. Heat sink deployed. Loads of heat sinks floating around. Oh, now we're getting fruity. Right, okay, nothing else to collect there. Um, obviously, we've got loads of salvaged alloys. Nothing else knocking about. Let's avoid that pylon. Navigation. We were doing so well.
Now, I do like this. There should be more of this stuff going on. Not so much that particular graphic there, right? Which is rough. You see it flickering in and out. Um... <laughs> Right, where are we? Lots of things glowing, lots of things broken. Great. Um, we want our rescue ship. Yeah, any one of those things to come up. Yank you out. Ooh, uh. Right, here we go. What we gotta do is line up. Best slow down a bit. Uh, where are we? There it is. Oh my god. We got to fly past it and then turn around. And then dark and do all that nasty, silly stuff. Right, here we go. I actually understood that, which shows how old I am. Right, here we go. We'll go in, we'll clear our names. It is. It is Music Hall. Or like, it's um, Music Hall, it's the two Ronnies, it's um, Tommy Cooper. There's our pad. Gear down. Yep. Yeah. Carry on films. Who were misses? And we were talking about the Cannonball Run yesterday, weren't we? And, um, which is an American version, I think, of the Carry On films. It has to be. Okay, here we go. Let's get a bit closer. Anchors. And we're down. Right, brilliant. Cool. Missions. Mission board. Of course, we've got no one to drop off, have we? Um, getting in for the records. You don't see many of them on television. Like, you know, on the reruns. Carry on up the Kyber. You know, and all that sort of stuff. You don't see many of that. Not even on Dave. So what have we got in here then? We've got three personal effects, occupied escape pods. Right. What have we got here then? Personal effects. Just looking through for personal effects. No, nothing for three personal effects. Plenty of four personal effects. So we're going to have to go back in and just do it, right? Um, right, contact, admin contact. I've been a very naughty boy. Nothing else here. Right. Um, limpets. Never forget your limpets. Let's try that again. 
Yeah, they made a load, didn't they? And then they started making them. They tried making them with all like modern day comedians. People like, oh, Julian Cleary, if you count him as a comedian. But then it was all, the Carry On films were all around the same sort of era as, and a lot of people might know this, some might not. There's a UK comedy, it was a short one-off in the 70s. And it was called The Plank, featuring a plank of wood, right? And they followed this plank of wood through all these different comedy skits. Virtually continuous. Um, look it up on YouTube. It's bound to be on YouTube. It's called The Plank. Good bit of fanar fanar comedy there. It is. It is on YouTube, yeah. I know it is. It's, it's classic. Classic stuff. Somebody else who appreciates good comedy history. Thank you, Tom Bull 89. Oh seven, Commander. Right. Let's get in here. No messing about. Well, not as much messing about as we normally do. Oh, the different colour bands, that's just the colour scheme that I've changed my, um, my, my screen to, Tom. Um, I used a bit of software for it. Elite Dangerous UI, I think it's called. Um, press that docking, cargo scoop out. In through the broken toast rack. Nice and easy. There's our pad that we need. Anchors on. Let's get collecting. <laughs> yes! Americans don't tend to get an awful lot of Monty Python. Do they? And I, I work with Americans all day, right? And a lot of people like... Um, so why is this funny? Because it's funny. Um, let's orientate myself. Where's that? There it is. Pop that there. Go back a little bit. There we go. Um, yes. All the heat vents are opening up on the Condor. Materials are being collected, which is fantastic. Okay, so what are we looking at picking up here? There's mechanical scrap, there's crystal shards, there's lots of Escape pods, black boxes, and whatnot. How are we doing over here? 26 or 36. I'm being more proactive on the heat sinks this time. Which is good stuff. <laughs> Okay. Let's have a look. I think British people insult everybody, don't they? Let's face it. How are we doing over here? 32 or 36? <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so far so good. We're getting a lot of stuff here. Still escape pods, still encrypted correspondence, all that. Rubbish. Of course, we've got a load of heat sinks here. That's okay. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Now, what I could do, right? I could have been a bit quick. And what I could have done. Right, let's get this thing on, on the ground. Right. Eight sinks deployed. There's the pad. And... Landing gear would be nice. And we're down. Right, let's get some people on this boat. Uh, mission board, passenger lounge, here we go. Group transportation. Buy materials. Grid resistors. Good old bulk scan data. It's a good that job that when you're inside the station, you know, you, you are building. You're not building that too much heat. The heat sort of stays the same. Atypical weights. Which is good stuff. Um, right, good stuff there. What else do I need? Uh, okay, let's have a look. One moment, everyone. Right, we're back to it now. That's okay. Anything left to pick up? No, we're just down left to people now. So being the capitalist, we'll go for credit. And this autofill function, you know, you, it's good stuff, isn't it? You know, I say minimum cabin class economy. Obviously, we haven't got enough space for that. Um, and I think we can get a few more in. And we are full, but we're not ready to completely leave just yet because we are going to go out again, get the cargo scoop out, pick a few more things up. Okay, okay, here we go, go, go. Drop a heat sink. Fire the collectors off. There you go. Got three more tons to go and get something. What are we going to be picking up? We don't know. It could be anything. Any one of those would be great. 
In the meantime, we can just orientate ourselves nicely with the exit. And this is just nice and easy stuff. Nice and easy stuff. Maximum capacity, nothing else to have. And let's zoom out. And there you go. And on that point, we'll do a slight intermission. Okay, I'm back. All right then. Um, let's get cracking. Back to the rescue ship. Here we go. Quick disengage, let's just boost, close the distance and we can hand off these missions now. Hopefully, hopefully my missions are very nearly done. I hope so. Uh, request docking. We might have to do one more. Proceed to pad one. Incoming mission critical messages. Good for you. Incoming critical mission mis bleh. incoming critical mission messages. Right. Stuck now, aren't I? Got my stuck self stuck on the 
bit above. Right, okay, here we are. Rescue mission again, la la. Mission, um, mission board. Complete those missions. All that lovely data. Right, what have I got left? Mission-wise. Wreckage components. How many of them have I got? Two. Hmm. So there's going to be more missions, right? What have I got? Uh, black box, four. Right, there you go. Then we'll let there's... Escape pods. Black box, four. Done. Thank you very much. Accept that mission. Back. Complete it. Uh, right there. Next up, what have we got? Um, personal effects, damaged escape pod. Right, okay. Four damaged escape pods. Personal effects right there. Let's go for materials so we can see what's happening. Right there. Um, what we got left? Personal effects seven encrypted correspondence. Pop him back in. Getting all that data. Getting all our lovely data in. That's what we want. Uh, and we got personal effects seven. So is any per anything, any missions for personal effects? Yes, one there for five. Accept mission. Four. Getting that mechanical scrap in. And then into the mission board, into the passenger lounge. Let's complete the missions here. Grid resistors for that one. Offloading all the people once again. I didn't want articulation motors, as it happens, but never mind. There you go. Let's go to the commodities market. Let's sell. Let's sell that. Uh, let's sell that. Anything else I can sell? I got five five units of something. When's some are obviously going to be uh, limpets. 
No, they're not. Um, into contact, into search and rescue. Offload that lot. Confirm. Let's go out. Back into search and rescue again because of the error. And we've got personal effects. Um, done. There you go. And we're clear. Now, I have got this, this mission over here. Uh, I'm going to abandon that. Don't care. I know I'll take the hit for it. But that's it. And I, I have stocked up on certain items to do the rescues. Yeah, it's a good idea. My carrier is in Novas. So I could head on over there should I want to. Um, in fact... Let me just think, where have I got my ship? My ship is going to be at... I'm sure as hell not leaving it there. I will jump on over to the Novas system. A whole 59 light years away, which I can do in this. Get the jumps. So you're in porges now. Where's that then? Porges ring? No, that's right. Okay. Or in Porky's at its known. I'm going to jump on over that way. Um, but my Thargoid ships aren't there. I have... I've got an Anaconda I can probably ship over in about five minutes. Or it'll take 15 minutes to get the other ships over. Either way, it's a shame you just can't send ships ahead of time. Getting a bit of that data. I mean, you know, because... Even just send them. I want to send this ship to my carrier. Not even a station. Or I want to send this ship to an engineer. Now that would be something. You know, it's going to cost credits. No problem. All right, I'm all right with that. Paul Nesbitt, thank you very much, mate. That's very nice of you to say. Perhaps they do. I doubt it. <laughs> We'd be banned otherwise. Okay, next up. Zlota. Jump in. I'm pretty sure I've jumped the wrong way. I have. Bum. There's no ass right there. One more jump.
I don't know, mate. Yeah, it's funny, that, isn't it? I didn't get my fish bowl. Um, don't know if I've got a base named after me. There's a Ric Ricardo or something, or whatever. That just might be hearsay. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, didn't get my fish bowl. Didn't get my name on on a on a station. No, I didn't. You're right there, Paul. Never mind. Only like six hundred odd videos on YouTube. We'll have a look, shall we? Let me just get into this system. Right here we are. Yes, but it wasn't named after me, was it? You know, Ricardo. Ricardo's Depot, Ricardo Dock, Ricardo Enterprise, Ricardo Gateway, Ricardo Installation. I could claim any one of these as mine, right? It's not an obsidian orbital, though, is it? Anyway, eh, whatever. Start a petition. Um, right, where am I? Where am I? What am I doing? Where's my fleet carrier? My fleet carrier's around here somewhere. Um, or it should be. There it is. Didn't think it was far. There's the old carrier. So, what sort of Thargoid mission are we doing? Are we going to be doing the, um... Ooh, interceptors? Or oh, an asteroid base? Yes, yes, I haven't got an asteroid base either. No. There's still people who, who stream, quite a lot of people who still stream Elite Dangerous. A few people I haven't even heard of. I was looking through last night, as it happened. Some good content out there as well. So you want to AX, do you? Okie dokie. Let me see what I have on the carrier. I do have an Anaconda Gauss cannon build. Not sure if it's any good though. Might be. Here it is, the Ricardo's Gaming. Bask in its magnificence. Behold. Right, here we go, 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 go. Pad number two. Oh, come on, come on. Get over that way, come on. And down. Right. So what I'm going to do is I shall summon the ships. <sighs> where's it gone? 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 Gone. Oh my god. Where has it gone? Uh, so there's there's my Gausser Conda.
Big old ship, this. I think it's got Gauss. I wouldn't have called it Gauss otherwise. Right? That's if this works. Come on, I mean, here we go. Um, there you go. Manage me ships. And then there's... There's the rescue badger there. There's me Thaggy Basher Corvette. Which isn't as Thaggy Basher as I need it because I need more guns. That's my AFK build. That's me Type 10. All AX weapons. With a bit of thermal vent on there. Right. Um, there's me AX. Transfer that. There's the Badger Prover, which is not used. Must be Phantom. So where the bloody hell's that gone then? Where's, where's the Crate Mark 2? I've lost a ship. Where the bloody hell's that gone? Yeah, it might be much quicker. Right, but it's not that one. I hope I haven't done something daft and sold it. Oh, no. You know what I've done, don't you? Oh, no, there it is. Thank God for that. I was having a bit of a squeaky bum moment. Right, let's have a look at the outfitting on this. So, Gauss Cannon. Woof. Gauss Cannon. Woof. Beam lasers there. Look at the modifications. Thermal vent. Thermal vent. Right? I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm just saying this is what I have. Um, shield boosters, heat sinks, what have you. So, I'll take the prismatic out of there. We'll put in... Got you. We'll put in a... What am I going to put in here? Collector limpet. A 5A collector limpet. There's a repair. Got a bit of cargo space. Anti-corrosion. There you go. Um, that'll have to do. Hell reinforcements, got all of that. The shield reinforcement can come out because I've just got rid of me shields. So we can put in a module reinforcement, perhaps. Say a class 4 module reinforcement, equip that. Um, hell, module, hell, 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 hell module. Hell module, 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 hell, hell, module. Lovely. Um, I, c I wonder if I've got that. Multi-Limpic controller. My class 7 is on something else. I don't know what, though. Where did I put that class 7? on that. Hmm. 
Yeah, you're right there. You're right there. You're right there. I was just using up what I had. Um, so it's not going to be on there. Because that's my cargo one. It's not going to be on that. That won't take it. It won't be on that either. It won't be on that. We just said that it might be there. 7A multi-limpet multi controller. It was there. There it is. Let's have that. Use that ship. Rip it out. And I'll pop it on, on the conda. Gausser conda. Right, carrier services. <laughs> uh, down to optional internals. Yes, yeah, store that module. Thank you very much. Up here, we will have nothing because I can't be bothered because that's my mining ship. Right, for doing all the mining on it. Back um, into stored shipyard. Then back to the Gausser Conda. Use that ship. Rip them out. Put that in. Shake it all about. Ship. Quite possibly. Thing <sighs> Right, okay, what are we doing? Eh, 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 carrier services. Right, uh, into outfitting. Optional internal. Let's store that. Store that. Swap that down to there. Pop that in there. We can pop in there. We can have controller seven. Equip module. Great, now bear with me. Right. What should I put in here? Hmm? What have I got? I mean, hull reinforcement, module reinforcement. I mean, I don't know. How long did it take me to get two billion? Doesn't take long when you do a lot of combat. Do I have a 5D reinforced? I do. For there. Place that module. What have I got? It is a ways away, but I will summon it. It'll be here within the hour. So that'll have to do. Um, some look at the modifications. Heavy duty hull reinforcement. So there's a lot of stuff in you that I still have to do. Like, you know, miss. This is it. Reflective plating on that one. What have I got on that one? Nothing. What about this one? Heavy duty. So I've got some more work to do. It is, isn't it? Um, let's have a look at the ship. Statistics. Yes, yes, yes. Into fire groups. Now this is where this is where it all gets interesting now, isn't it? Right? So the Gauss cannon and the beam laser. Right? I've got on that. Right? That that should be done. Um and then I need Yeah. Got me rope rope flak there. Collector. So I've still got a collector limpet controller on this. Gosh, get rid of that then. <laughs> hull, 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 hull. There it is. Let's drop that off the planet. What could I possibly put in there? Quite literally nothing. Again, there's a 1D. I could bring in there module reinforcement if I wanted to. Yeah, sure. Uh, 
Um, I can leave that out. My utility mount. God's sake. My utility mount. Let's store the shield boosters because we have no shield. Heat sink, pop that in it. Uh, have we got a shutdown neutralizer? I got two of those now, I don't need two of those. Um, got some heat sinks, got some stuff. Got a Xeno scanner, brilliant. So all I gotta do now with all these, these different things on this beast of a ship um, is sort them out. So I want repair and decontamination. I want, see research would be good. Sending a probe right up it. Ooh, it doesn't like it up it, does it? Oh, with notoriety, there's a video on the channel about that. Type in notoriety or criminal justice, elite dangerous, Ricardo. It'll be all on there. But it's all about um, waiting, effectively. Here's research. And recon. Hatch breaker. Well, we don't need that, do we? Don't need fuel transfer. We don't need prospector. We need collector. To pick up all the stuff. And I think over here, what I need is Gauss cannon, beam laser on two. Take those off, take those off. Take that off. And I need a Xeno scanner there. on that one and then I need all my all my weapons on this one so gauss cannons AX there and then there and we'll put there let's see how that goes I'm not convinced right I'm not convinced by any of this I'll get all I'll get all in a tiz when I'm in when I'm in combat. That's what we're gonna go with. I do have on the modules I've cleared some some stuff out. Um got the wake scanner. <coughs> Gotta put it somewhere, I suppose. Um Military composite, Guardian power plants, all that good stuff. Um great. And then here. It's kind of like tanked up, multi-universal controller. Um, I've still got a bit of space there for something. I've got 16, take 18 limpets, and that's it. Right, done, fantastic. You can, you can, I wanna try that. I'm gonna try getting it right up there. Right up there, do you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get it right up there. We're gonna try that now. Um, let's get some limpets. You attack it and keep it busy, and I'll give it a good probing. Right? I, I haven't tried that either. I, I'll be quite good. Right. Boom. Boom. Yeah. We restocked everything. Um... Incidentally, would it be worthwhile having a fighter on you? I don't know, see. Um, anyway, whatever. Let's just get let's just get on with it. Let's just get on with it. Right. Exactly. They don't like it up them.
Right, and we're off. Right, you are at... We can get rid of all that now, can't I? Right. Let me go into my own private group. Yep, no worries. Continue. Private group. There it is. Private session. Here we go. Thargoid probing. Let's have a look. Um... Right, system map, where, where are you? Forge's ring. Who were? Uh, it's just total fanar fanar, isn't it? Go. Um, mm, right, I'm in my private group now. Get ourselves over there. See, I was going to play Satisfactory this afternoon, and I've been dragged into this again. And that's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. I'll do that in the week sometime. I'll make sure I got some time for it. Well, I've got to take the girl wonder to karate in about two hours. Incoming message. Your challenger has arrived. Yeah, I had them going to Kaiokushin, right? Um, and because I asked them to go and wanted them to go, they didn't want to go, right? Now, parents will understand it. Now, because her friend's going, she wants to go. And I'm fine with that, because me and the other dad sit in the pub up the road. Discussing karate and things like that. So we're hammering on over. There is the ship. I think in all its blackness. Can't quite make out what i have to look till, wait till someone turns the lights on, so I can see what's going on here. We're going in. Here we go. Mission scooping, eh, Simon? Anne of Green Gables? Ah, oh, you're not one of them, are you? Bloody Anne of Green Gables. I think we've got about six versions on that, like the original on... VHS, and then on DVD, and then on Blu-ray, and then it's recorded all over the Skybox, and then it's on favourites on Netflix. Oh, it's a lovely film, Anne of Green Green. It's lovely. Yes, 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 I bet it is. A couple of years ago, just before the pandemic, they did, I think it was Jane Austen. Jane Austen and Zombies? Now that I would have watched, right? 
Because during my advanced levels in school, the book that we had to read was Jane Austen. Right? Uh, Emma. Uh, I think it was. Or was it Pride? No, Pride and Prejudice. Or we did both of them. It was terrible. For an old boys' school, a grammar school, pick something that people are going to read. Not something that no one's ever, ever, ever going to read and only ever going to watch in the duress. Right, we're going in. Bask in her glory. Landing gear down. We're looking for pad nine. Nine! There it is. Right. <laughs> there was it was Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies. I didn't actually watch it. I think she did. I think she watched it. Hey, Rocro. Or Rocro. Rock row, 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 rock row, whatever. 07, Commander. Yes, come on, have a ridiculously ridiculous day. Join the stream. What's the worst that can happen? So you've got a bit of snakes going on here for the Hanaconda. Um, we could make it completely gold. We could make it pulse red. We've got midnight black. We've got uh, iridescent gleam. We've got a bit of gold. And we've got an azure going on as well. I mean, if you look at all this down here, I mean, some of it's, some of the, these, these things for the anaconda are great. Um, bit Miami Vice, isn't it? I know Mike likes these. You know, it's nothing outstanding. So I'm going to go with something, I don't know, I'll go with the one that I already have, that one, Pulse Red, thank you very much. It's not even red, is it? Um, so we got that, weapon detailing, let's red it up, shall we, because we got Pulse Red, uh, engine colour, I got that, I am, but I'm certainly not buying it, we'll use the orange, um, and we'll change the name pant to... God's sake, Richard. Gausser Gonda. There it is. What's the name of the HUD mod? Yeah, uh, EDHM. That's what I've been using. Saves fiddling about with the text file and all that messing about. You don't need it. It's... Um, Ooh, I think we'll go for that. Right, we're done. Okay, then. Cool. Missions, it is. Mission board. Baggy missions. Destroy an interceptor. Okay, then. We'll have some of that. And that's all I've got. So I've got one. <laughs> oh dear. Um, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, well we're going to have to try and sort of like fix that, aren't we? Um, right. And, and it's not even shareable. Never mind. Uh, contacts. Admin contact. Nothing there. Combat bonds. 56 million in combat bonds there. Eh? 
can I upgrade anything? Hell reinforcements. I must I must get back to the hell reinforcements and get it so I can get it past one, right? Because that's just ridiculous. Um so that's fair enough. Everything else is okay. Yes, 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 that's okay. Um it is what it is. Right? It is what it is. Yeah, so we're in Novas. Forge's ring. I should have summoned the AX build here, really. Never mind. So here's the thing, it's not exactly what you call bright red, is it? It used to be redder than that, if you can remember. 16 mission, well you got the notoriety there, haven't you? That's the thing. Look at that. Fab. I'm actually quite happy how the graphics card is performing. After all these tweaks I've done on it. Removing VSync in the game and then using fast VSync on the NVIDIA card has made a hell of a difference. I was kind of like throttling it at like 50%. Um... We'll still see, though. It's still in the test, right? Bloom under the graphics option. Oh my God, bloom. Let's have a look. Let's have a look now. Graphics. Let's see, bloom is off. Should I turn it on? Apply. Back to game. Resume. Oh, Jules, you legend. There you go, got a bit of bloom on. Yeah, and it's one of those things. And the thing is, is what I've noticed as well, when the driver updates, as NVIDIA does, right, about once, twice a month when new games come out, um, you've got to go back in and reset those same settings. So don't be surprised it doesn't kick you in the backside um, when you go through and, and, and get that sorted out. Okay then, navigation. Threat five. <laughs> and we're zooming. Zuma, Zuma, Zuma. Now, have I got... I have got limpets. Good. Good, 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 good. And I promise I will do Satisfactory sometime this week. I promise. So we're in May. Heavy stuff in it being in May. June next month, ofs, right? I'm going to see Brian May, Roger Taylor, and Adam Lambert in Queen, right? That's if this, this continues. Um, and then we're off to Bulgaria. Quite looking forward to that, actually. Taking everyone. It's going to be plenty hundreds of people. Well, there's going to be six of us. But, you know, it, it's, I'm looking forward to it. I need a holiday. I need a holiday. I really do. 
fire groups. We're on the blah fire group. That's the one we want. It's got the scannability on it. Mongor! Look at that, that's a good name for a ship, isn't it? Mongor! Blind Surfer 07, Commander. Thanks for the follow. Dean King Size Rizalio. Who thinks these things up? I tell you what. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Put a bit of night vision on. Doesn't like a little bit of night vision. Too many things but green. Drown the other side. And I'll find out now, right, that it's just going to be... Um, it's all going to be scouts, you watch. And I'm here in the equivalent of a bloody aircraft carrier, and people are going to have much more nimbler ships than me. Okay, then. Here we go. So I was setting up my profile on Trovo, which is another streaming service um, that I was using via Streamlabs this morning. Um, so I was trying to get all that sorted out as well. And I was also doing some stuff around Twitch and YouTube. Of course, good old YouTube and its algorithms. Of course, no one's, no one seems to be watching Elite Dangerous stuff on YouTube, right? Twitch, more so. Oh, it's a probe. There be nobody here. But we'll have the probe. You're in the combat zone. Fab. All right. I'll nip to the combat zone in. Where are you, combat zone? That one. Okie dokie. Back we go then. Oh no, I've got a legal... How is it illegal cargo? It's a Thargoid probe. I didn't think they were illegal. And it's certainly not stolen. I just picked it up. Since when have these probes been illegal? Tell that to the judge. Uh, 
Yeah, right, here comes someone to interdict me. Won't mind going visiting the old Guardian sites. I haven't done that since Odyssey dropped. I know some people went straight there. I couldn't be bothered. Here we go. We are booking. Broken past that planet. And now we're starting to move. Such detail on this anaconda. If you've got a HOTAS, it's um, normally button one. Or you can press the insert key on a keyboard, I think. That's landing gear. Deckard Kane. Ooh, there's a Diablo fan right there. Identify some items for me. Okay, here we go then. Hmm. Pilots Federation versus Thargoid. Brilliant. No one seems to be here. Um, let's turn that off. And bloody miles away. Cool. Uh, this system is crawling with Thargoids. Push them back. Yes, push them back, I say. Push them back. Right, let's get all that on the go. What we got? What we got in system? Beam laser, beam laser. Rope flak. AX multi cannons. Rope flak. Uh, there you go. That one there, I think, perhaps. That one, yes. Okay. See, the AX stuff is good because it just, just lets me do its thing, like. Get that field neutralizer out the bloody way. Cool. Whee! Ah, oh, bollocks.
Cool. Drop one of those. Sort this fire group out. Um, where am I? What have I got here? Don't want the field neutralizer. It was the Xeno scanner I wanted. Right, is he turned up? Oof! What a shot. Here he comes. So that one's an inciter. Great. So there's one in system so I can see the swarm. There he is. There he is. Has anyone scanned him yet? Never mind. Right, where's he gone? There he is. Who's bloody shooting at me? Bloody, 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 bloody. It's good, isn't it? Oh no, the cargo act. They've shot me cargo hatch off. Don't like this gauss cannon. Ugh, guff. Oh, what? It's just, I'm just like, caustic, caustic damage RS. Oh, there you go, look. Look at this bloody Charlie, yeah. Right, we're going. What was I going to do? I was going to do a recon, wasn't I? That's what I was going to do. I was going to see if I was going to do the recon. Repair, remote. Reset, recon. Right. Let's see if I can get it. I've got to get in close, haven't I? Right. Let's see if I can get that done. There he is. Right. Let's get in nice and frosty. If we... Right. The bloody hell's it gone? There it is. Right, here we go. We're going in all frosty like. We're getting in there. This is a research limpet.
Oh, it's extracting. Look, 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 it's extracting. Look at that. It's doing its thing. We're giving him a probing. Oh dear, things are shooting at me. All sorts of crap's happening now, look at this. Kind of got to get a bit closer. Right, well I've got it. We, we've given him a probing. Can I go scoop down? And now I'm dying. So I'm right in the middle of it. But the moral of this story is, I gave him a good probing. That's the moral of this story. If you know what I'm saying. But the Gauss cannons on this, I'm not sure that's the best thing of doing it. No? Yeah, I am looking forward to Queen. I, I am. I am looking forward to it. I mean, do I make it AX? Do I not make this thing AX? I mean, I, I really don't know. Right? But these Gauss cannons aren't doing it for me. You know? They're both at the bottom as well, I suppose. It's supposed to be in, on the top. I could swap them round. Might be easier for me to do something with them then. Which might be better. So I've got. No, I haven't got anything. What am I doing? That's at the bottom. That's at the top. That's at the top. So if I put that then, swap on the bottom, perhaps. Please, God, don't say I've sold it. Experiment. Gauss cannon. Oh. Uh. Right. And saying these beam lasers. Um. Turrets would be better. You know, but I've used them all on other builds. I sort this bio group mess out then. So, um, like that, and then. We'll take that out. Put that over there. 
So on this, so what I'm thinking is I've got beam lasers to cool me down, so to speak. AX there, multi cannons. Thank you very much. Lay down some heavy fire. Then over here, I've got Gauss cannons and the AX. The AX really should be on two because they're automatic fire. And the Gauss cannons are my actual main weapon. Take that bloody field neutralizer off. And we'll put the field neutralizer there. Right, okay. Right then. Advanced maintenance. It's a very confusing build, this. Nearly got the bitch. Whoa. So many fire groups getting quite confused with it. Forty-eight million if I'm there in time. I am moving. Oh Christ. Well that's not particularly good, is it? Anyway, um moral of the story is is don't panic. Right, we're moving. Here we go. Try and stay out of that. Nice look out the window. All power to the engines. And it's crashed with a purple pop. Of course it did. Good old purple pythons. I don't want to be leaving the team. Brilliant. Thank you, Simon. As we're flying around, kind of see what's going on behind us. As we run away from it all. Oh, there it is, right there. There's the swarm. Let's see if we can take some of that out. Right, there he is. Right, ha ha! Yeah, I took a... Don't like it up, him. Um. 
Here we go. Got him down to two. I think I hit it with something. I'm burning it all off. Yeah, I need to get some engineering. These turrets need to be... They need to be turrets. There it is, just in case you're all wondering. And only grade one little lasers, isn't they? I think we got it. There it is. Forty thousand. Forty thousand million. Forty million, sorry. I really have got to get these flipping fire groups sorted out. What the hell was that? Um, repair.
I think I just need to start with a complete blank in regards to my fire. My fire groups just need to be just redone. This anaconda. Do you know what? You're right there. This is a terrible, terrible, terrible ship. Terrible, 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 terrible shit. For it. Whatever it is. Right, what have we got here? Let's, let's, let's see if we can sort this out. So, beam lasers to cool me down, AX cannons. And then we'll have a Xeno scanner. Right? Sort of thing. Um, Gauss cannons, beam laser, AX. Brilliant, that's all we need there. Then I need... Don't need that. Don't need that. I then need remote flak. And then... Perhaps a field neutralizer. And then I need... One, two, one. Um... Two. Um, one. Possibly decontamination. Then. Don't need that. Perhaps a collector. I reckon. And I reckon we're. I reckon we're cool here. Loads of messing about on there, and and it, that's just crazy, isn't it? Only limpets there and propulsion elements. We're out. Well, exactly. Drop the heat sinks and just run away. Back for a repair, I think. I was doing better in the crate. Okay, here we go. We're going into Porges Ring. 
Well, it is, isn't it? If you can fill up everything from scout popping, that's great. There it is. Pad 39 is right there. Landing gear. Here we go. Come on. Conductive ceramics. That's the stuff. There's a. S Are we going to do another one? I can get a couple. Um, <sighs> well, I got managed to get two that time. Um, can I share them over? Nope, I cannot. Because they are normal missions, not to worry. Um, I need limpets. Okay, I think I'm ready. Well, some of the NPCs take the heat. Yeah, right. Okay, we'll pop back to that uh, that combat zone then. Um, which was right there. Okay, here we go. I don't know about the combat zone being actually easier. It's it's some bum bum clenching stuff, is what it is.
There's a lot of money to be made. Here's the question. Why is Frontier making a lot of cash and a lot of money available in-game through these, should we call them events, right? What's coming? I'm always dubious of that. It's like finding health potions before you go into a room. What's in that room? You know what I mean? Here we go. Thargoid Vessel. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you've got the invite. You're in. I think. Yes, you're in. Finance for ah, yes, aha. I'm struggling with this bloody thing. Actually, shooting something. Okay, here he comes. An incoming message. Where is he? Come here, you sausage. Oh, it's summoned. Hey, they've switched us off. Look at that. Whee! We've been switched off yet again. So it drops in, turns everybody off, and then probably aims straight for me. It is. It is like it's going straight for someone. Bloody them, isn't it? Healing themselves up. Look at them. There it is. There it is. Doing its thing. Right, yep. Bloody sausage. I'm going to have you now.
Damn. Not sure I ate it, to be fair. Hmm. Shields are up. Oh, and it's another one! Oh, joyous. Joyous, joyous, joy. I'm on 44% health here. This is ridiculous. Oh, you've crashed out again. This is like too much going on in here. This is just ridiculous. I think it's all going to go wrong. I'm determined to shoot that hat. I'm on 8%. It's going to be total ramming speed. Where is he? Have it. He's not going to like it up him. And that, everybody, is the end of that. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm going to leave that there today. Um, I've really enjoyed this. It's been great. Um... We managed to get one of the big ones, which was good. But like anything. 07, anybody? Um, have a nice Monday if in the UK. Have a nice continued bank holiday Monday. Um, and I'll be on and around throughout the week. I hope you all have a great day. Have a great evening. Not in the UK. Have a great whatever you're doing. And I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching the stream. Hit that like and sub subscribe if you haven't already done so. It would really help me out. And uh, see you soon. Catch you later. Bye.